Hey guys, welcome back to Snap Dudes. Today we'll learn how to create this abstract wavy background in Adobe Illustrator. So let's start with the tutorial. Uh, okay, so I have Illustrator opened uh, and I have created the 1920 by 1080 pixels document. Uh, so now I'll select this rectangle tool and create a rectangle by dragging my mouse like this. So it should be thin uh, like this right and then i'll just zoom in by pressing alt and scroll wheel so that way it zooms where your mouse is uh, and now i'll select this and press alt on my keyboard and just drag it downwards uh, you can also press shift so that it drags in the uh, in the straight line so it needs to be snapped to the bottom of the uh, this rectangle that we have created uh, like this and then i'll change the color of this to uh, say this green right and then I'll select both of these rectangles uh, by dragging my mouse like this and then again I'll press alt and drag them uh, while holding shift downwards so that it snaps to the new rectangle that we have created like this now I'll press ctrl T on my keyboard uh, which creates like copies of the two rectangles right and like this so you can like do it for say 10 12 times i'll do it for a bit more uh, like this now i'll drag my mouse and right click on this and then click on group that's way that way these will be grouped uh, and i'll just <coughs> center line them them to the artboard uh, so now i'll go to object and then uh, envelope to start and then make with mesh right so uh, the rows will be five and the column will be six you can play with these values uh, whatever suits you and then press ok so that way it creates various anchor points uh, on this mesh now i'll select the direct selection tool and i'll select this anchor points uh, this vertical anchor points alternately please. so I'll drag my mouse like this and then I'll just move it to little to the top like this now I'll skip this one and then select this one like this and then again I'll do like this and same goes for the third one like this so that way we have this wavy pattern now we can individually select these points and just drag them like this so that way we can create a different shape so you can play around with these anchor points and uh, create any custom shape so yeah once you are satisfied with the kind of look you want to go for uh, then you can click again on this rectangle tool and then just drag it like this right uh, and then uh, you can select the the bottom shape and then click on object and then expand and then press ok yeah and drag your mouse like this press right right click on and then make clipping mask like this and then i'll just like align it like this to the artboard so yeah uh, so yeah so i mean this kind of background can be used uh, on posters or uh, your stories or any other promotional banner uh, and i'll say just uh, type in some random text say abstract background like this yeah so 
yeah so that's it for this one guys if you like the video press like and subscribe to our channel see you in the next one bye bye